Well, I suppose so. What a wonderful day! Last week we hired Trojan, wondered what he'd do. Why not fire Monty too? That's why I believe. I believe. Yes, I believe. I say I believe right now. I believe. Yes, I believe. Troy and Monty were schemers. Schemers trying to control their little worlds. You see, I'm not a schemer. I'm the Pistons martyr. Here to die on the sword until they reach championship contention. I thought you were dead. I die every day, but my soul is still into the steam. Are you done? Are, 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 are you are you done? I lost control and forgot. This is a sports channel. My fault. When I tell you all I was not expecting Monty to be fired, I sincerely mean that. 100%. I did not think it would happen. And the only solitary reason why was the amount of money remaining on his contract. $65 million that Tom Gores would have to fork over to Monty just to fire him. I knew Troy was out of there. He needed to go. There wasn't half a molecule of a reason to keep Troy around after two to three years of failure and a couple of good draft picks here and there, but failure nonetheless to even be a marginal team. He was gone. Monty, unlike Troy, had reasonable excuses as to why you wouldn't fire him and you'd keep him on for another year. Troy Weaver put together an awful, horrendous roster that Monty Williams had no say in. Monty was also given a team that had no veteran presence or leadership to speak of. We did have Boyan here, but that simply isn't good enough when you have a roster as young as this, as inexperienced as this. And Troy Weaver was insisting upon this too big lineup that I mentioned in the previous Pistons video that he just emphatically said, this is going to work. Keep trotting out two bigs who can't shoot, who can't space the floor, along with a starting lineup of no shooters except Boyan, and figure out how to win games. High grade stupidity, buffoonery, time fuckery coming from the GM. So what are you supposed to do? But, but, ah! let me tell you what this obstructor of justice Monty Williams was doing during this season, or rather what he wasn't doing. Let's put his record into perspective as coach of this team. 14 wins on the year. For the 22-23 season, we won 17 games. You may sit there and say, well, it's only three games. What's the difference? You were ass then and you were ass now. No, 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 no. False. Well, the ass thing is true, but you lack context, Padawan. We were purposefully tanking for Wimbenyama that season. Oh, for greater context, we were tanking for the fifth pick. This year, we were trying to win games. And we somehow did worse than when we were purposefully taking L's. And we still fell to fifth. So not only are you worse than when Dwayne Casey was coach, you have a losing record, an all-time NBA losing record to boot. Monty Williams is, is obviously a God-fearing man, very religious or what have you. He needs to get on his knees and look up and yes. thank the, his heavenly yes, father yes. that he was let out of that yes. miserable situation in Detroit. I didn't know he where could, that was going. He, he, couldn't be, he couldn't be happier. I know he's going to be happy, and obviously he's going to have other opportunities down the line because that situation in Detroit was an absolute mess. Shut up, Stephen Nay Smith. They're trying to defend him. They're trying to make him look better than what he is. No, don't interrupt me again. He made things worse. He turned Chernobyl into worldwide nuclear fallout. He benched Jaden Ivey for Killian Hayes. He gave starters minutes to a man who isn't even in the league as of the making of this video and should never be again. As far as I'm concerned, you benched a clearly superior player for another who had one of the worst true shooting percentages in NBA history. Killing and killing and pillaging villagers, filling in holes why nobody knows. I know because he's a construction worker. He's in the wrong profession. Get him out of here. I talk about him as if he's still there. His ghost infuriates me because those were games we lost unnecessarily. 
Did Monty care? Of course not, because you're getting 70 something odd million dollars. You didn't even want to be here, Monty. You yourself admitted the primary reason you took this job was because of money. What made you want to take this on instead of just taking time off? The money. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. At the time, I admired the honesty. Not too many people just straight up say, I mean, yeah, the money is good. Who wouldn't coach the Pistons if they're over here offering $70 million? Of course. But what did you do when you got here, Monty? You took a vacation, an in-season vacation, and you got $70 million. The vacation that he was going to take before taking this job in the first place. Because he turned Detroit down. He turned numerous other teams down. I believe his wife had cancer or something that was going on. It was very serious. She ended up recovering from it. She went through chemo and stuff like that. Who can even focus on your job when loved ones lives are in danger and stuff? So I understand that. But one can clearly see as he was coaching these games, he was mentally compromised. Understandably so. But why come in to work if you can't focus and you can't do your job properly? Numerous Detroit games timeouts just aren't being called, runs are happening. He's just standing there. He's pulling a Darvin Ham. The adjustments and lineups, well, I mean, the adjustments and lineups were going to be ass no matter what because the roster is ass, but do something, do anything than the nothing that you're doing. Oh, no way. He was doing something. The toilet was clogged and he kept flushing it. Stop it. You're making something that's bad worse. The front office themselves had to sit this man down and say, enough, are you stupid or are you dumb? Put him in the starting lineup, you blockhead. How many games did we lose that we shouldn't have because of that nonsense? Why did I have to go to Hades this season? Why? Why, Monty? All you had to do was put him in the starting lineup. We wouldn't have had that record, but no. I will never understand, nor condone, nor not get pissed at people who say they are sick, that I can't come into work, I shouldn't, but they come in anyway and tear shit up. Stay your ass home. And now they talking about the Lakers may be interested in money, or why not get money? You better not. I'll definitely make a Lakers voodoo doll if that happens. I cannot have Monty Williams be successful for what he put me through, for what he put the city of Detroit through. It was bad, but he made things so unnecessarily worse than they had to be. There is no excuse for this type of coaching performance. I'm glad he's gone. And as far as I'm concerned, that $65 million should be spent on the wings that you robbed Detroit faithful of. What this tells me here is that Trajan means business. The worst elements of last season are being thrown into purgatory. Trajan, that milk of magnesia. We got squeaky clean bowels again. We swam down Shit's Creek and came out clean with a new lease on life like Andy Dufresne. I'm sure some of you cultured thespians know who made that bar. Yes, yes you do. Tom Gores gave him complete autonomy to do whatever he sees fit. And he didn't pull any punches because let's say he kept Monty. It would just reflect poorly on him if Monty has another down year. Monty would get calls for him to be fired, but Trajan would get the primary blame. Most fingers would be pointed in his direction. And you don't need toxic elements of the previous administration's problems affecting your current status as president of basketball operations. So get him out of here. Clear them all away. We get to start anew with the draft coming, get better, proper pieces that complement Cade, that complement the core of Jalen Duran, Jaden Ivey, Asore Thompson, Marcus Sasser. Trajan can get his own coach in there, and hopefully this can show league officials and free agents that it's safe to come here. And that previous pond scum, that bile, has nothing to do with the future and what we're trying to establish. This was an unexpected gift I didn't know I needed in my life until it happened. Thank you so very much, Trajan. I'm actually excited for the Pistons offseason now. Tell me what you guys think about them firing Monty. Do you think they should have kept him? Do you agree or disagree with anything that I've had to say? Comment below. Let me know. Like and subscribe if you are new. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I shall see you on the next one. <laughs>
good riddance.